part of the reason that we're all here is because we are MINK started with all of our affiliates of APHA. So I'm going to talk a little bit about APHA and our little bit of history. I've got about five or six slides. So this is the history of our regional meeting. Um, I just wanted to let you know that, I think I mentioned it earlier, this is our ninth annual, so next year we are scheduled to be in Nebraska. Um, they've had a changeover in their ARGC, their affiliate representative to the APHA Governing Council. Some of you may know David Corbin, he was their long-term ARGC and he retired from that and is working with the Sierra Club in Nebraska. Um, Brandon Grimm has filled in on an interim basis and now they have um, another person who has taken over that spot. So um, they weren't able to be here today. I don't know if you watch the news, but Nebraska's had some really crappy weather going on. So um, I'm sure it had something to do with that. Um, this is affiliate day last year. Um, some of our friends you may recognize there up on the slide. So on the Saturday of the APHA annual meeting, we have a meeting all day. It's called Affiliate Day for anyone who is a member of any affiliate of APHA. It's really open to just about anyone who wants to come. You do not have to be attending the APHA meeting. Um, we'll be in uh, Philadelphia in November, November 2nd through the 6th this year. And um, the planning for this meeting started at that meeting last year. So things uh, take some time to get worked out. Uh, this is where I'd like to be. Uh, the meeting last year was in San Diego. That was out on the patio. I think uh, Denise helped us take some of those pictures. So, uh, so I want to leave you with some next steps um, along with a couple of pieces of information from APHA. Part of the reason that we come together annually is to network, collaborate, and build additional partnerships. And that's really important, I think, in the time that we are living right now with funding challenges, accreditation challenges, um, filling position challenges. I know just, I work for a healthcare system and we seem to constantly have turnover, whether it's people leaving our system to go someplace and make more money, or whether it is our aging workforce, um, myself included. So I'd like to challenge everyone to work with your folks in your state affiliate, whether it's here in Missouri, it's in Kansas, Iowa, or Nebraska, everybody can use your assistance. And most of you who are here are probably already involved. That's why you're here, right? Um, the other is to be a part of the national organization. So the American Public Health Association, right now they have a partnership they're working on promoting all of us. I'm not sure if you've heard about this. It was on the tables at lunchtime. It's a research program that anyone can participate in. They're hoping to get 10 years of data, and what they're looking at doing, um, APHA along with NIH, is personalizing our healthcare. So looking at how, what keeps people healthy, and the reasons behind how people get sick. Dalen asked earlier about childhood obesity and biochemical markers. If we do some research in that area, we may be able to find that out. And one of the, the really, um, threads running through what we try and do in public health is about science and evidence. Most of us aren't doing anything without some kind of background information and we need to pay attention to that. And that's partly what this is about, it's talking about our health. So I have some brochures here if you'd like some, there's also some on the back table. Or the website is um, allofus.org. And then the bottom um, bullet point is we need to let people know what we do. We need to nominate our colleagues, our friends, ourselves for awards and recognition. Dr. Archer was one of our award winners at APHA a couple of years ago. Iowa has won awards for the Affiliate of the Year. We have lots of folks in the room who probably nominated other people for awards, so that's one of the ways that we can tell our story and get our information out there, whether it's at the affiliate level. Missouri has awards that we give out at our annual meeting. I think most of our affiliates do and that's a way that we can connect with people who might not know what we do but they'll write an article about us or they'll learn about us because we've nominated them for an award. So there are Council of Affiliate Awards at the national level and there are APHA awards and I think the next slide is, oh there we go. 
so these are the APHA awards. Um, I believe, Dr. Archer, you won the Milton and Ruth Romer Prize for Creative Local Public Health a couple of years ago. So these are some of the awards. The, they're all listed on the APHA website. Nominations are open now, which is why I bring them up right now. Um, and there's also an email that went out to all APHA members. All right, again, these are our sponsors. Um, Heartland Center, the Midwestern Public Health Training Center, and then each of our local affiliates have been involved in planning of this, and in their own way, that's how uh, we contribute money, cash, um, time, effort, resources to our effort. So does anybody have any last comments or questions? <coughs> all right, you are all um, part of the success of Mink, and I hope to see you next year. Thank you so much.